walked away several weeks ago as a result of this man, a business victory over Eric Watts, has seemingly brought out yet another of her Sybil-like personalities. You know, it's almost as if she's infatuated with this new addition, Alex Shelley, her quote-unquote baby bear, to the point that she's been outright ignoring Abyss, who was actually most responsible for Goldie's newfound wealth, if you think back. Oh, uh, obviously, the baby bear is his, her choice, so that's why she's favoring him. And their opponent, they are the team of T-Ray 3000 and Shark Boy. When the Goldilocks challenge was issued last week for this contract versus money matchup, D-Ray 3000 immediately stepped up and accepted for his team. Now, judging by how quickly D-Ray said yes to Goldie's offer, and judging by D-Ray's track record of not being the sharpest knife in the drawer, I have to wonder whether he really knows what he's gotten himself and Shark Boy into. I think Mike was a situation where he just happened to walk by Goldie Locks at the wrong time. He was floating around the locker room like you always see D-Ray do. I mean, and he heard money. He heard he was getting a shot at money. So D-Ray says, I'll take the money. Well, he didn't realize what it was going <laughs> to cost him right here, and it's going to cost him a battle. And he's bringing Shark Boy into it with the Monster Abyss. And if you'll notice right here, Goldilocks is screaming at Abyss to go first. You know, that's unlike the previous, whatever it's been, four or five matchups that we've seen involving these two, where it was always her baby bear, Alex Shelley, starting off the match. But Goldilocks already directing traffic even before the opening bell. She demands that it's Abyss in with B-Ray. I think you made a really good point. D-Ray looked at this as a chance to pick up some quick cash. I don't think he realizes the possible downside of this deal. If he and Shark Boy do not win that briefcase full of cash, Goldie owns their contracts. And what, what's she gonna do with them? We saw what she no. did with the contract. Come on, Lutz. He's gone. We she, haven't she seen it. She froze him right out of TNA. And this could happen the same way. I mean, she, or she might make these some kind of a comedy act and just, you know, it's her choice. This girl has got more personalities than anybody we've ever Right now, she holds the power. Yeah, really, knowing Goldie's unpredictability, I'm not exactly sure what it would mean if Abyss and the baby bear Alex Shelley were to win this match. You see the attempt at the cross body block off the top by Shark Boy, caught in midair by Abyss, and he just dropped him down right across the chest of his tag team partner, D-Ray 3000, who, wow, immediately tossed out to the floor. You see Shark Boy just getting out of the way just in time as Abyss could have ended it right there. Let's follow up on those yes. comments as we see the fight of the shark. Let's follow up on those comments from the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett, in that very heated interview with our broadcast colleague, Scott Hudson. What was this about problems between Vince Russo, the NWA's director of authority, and the American dream, Dusty Rhodes? I can only guess, Mike. I mean, Vince has obviously been overwhelmed. He's had so many decisions, so many tough decisions true. that he's had to make that it's taking his toll on him. I mean, you can look and see the weight loss that Vince is suffering. And remember, Dusty, last week on Impact, special Six Points of Impact segment with our colleague Jeff Hammond, talked about a championship committee being in the discussion stage as we see Goldie Climb up to the ring apron and oh, I see what she's doing. She's telling her to yeah. telling him to tag the baby bear. Yeah, so he can get all oh. the glory, right? I mean, Abyss does all the work in the ring, and Shark Boy's laid out, and she wants Alex Shelley to come in here and get the pin. And Abyss didn't make the tag. Shelley tagged himself in. You know, every decision that Vince Russo has made has been by the book. Think about it. You had the Jeff Jarrett decision, the, the AJ Styles favoritism that everybody's been accusing him of, the Kid Cash suspension. I mean, there's there's been so many things that he's had to do. And, and you know, whether you agree with the decisions or not, you feel like Vince is trying to make the right decisions. Well, I, I think he at least tried to let things play themselves out in the ring rather than in the boardroom of TNA management. But then again, you know Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, you're right. You know how he likes to play with people's minds. He might just be talking about nothing but thin air, but yeah. smoke. Yeah, you know how much Jeff Jarrett loves to stir things up. Well, Abyss, he did all the muscle work, turns things over to the baby bear, charges in with both knees right into the chest of Shark Boy. Oh, Alex Shelley, oh. what a great move. What a great DDT that was. Spinning off the ropes, drops him down, spiked him with the DDT. Wow. Surprised he didn't put him away with that move. Shark Boy able to just get out. I mean, Shark Boy, we saw him on impact last week and the great effort he had against Jeff Jarrett, the King of the Mountain. But right here in this match right now, Abyss is just 
taking such a toll on Shark Boy where look at, look at the reaction. He's not even looking at the match. He's just sitting there looking outside, rocking back and forth. Almost as if you finally see that sense of frustration well, on, on the part of Abyss from the from A being ignored or B doing all the work and having to turn things over to the baby bear. I mean, you don't have to be a brain surgeon to figure out what Goldilocks' intentions are. I mean, she's just treating a bitch like garbage, and she's trying to do everything to make her baby bear look successful. It's not that Alex Shelley's not a competent wrestler because he's great. She made a good choice in him, but... Well, she really but did. Look you can at think this, about it. Just, look at this. As you see Alex Shelley trying to go for the tag, and a bitch won't even look at him. And look at Goldilocks. Well, the look on her face tells the whole story. As Abyss now climbs back up to the apron and accepts the tag from his partner, Alex Shelley. Well, you heard Lily Lux screaming at him to make the tag, and he does. Boy, whatever hold she's got on him, it's powerful. How about D-Ray 3000? Young kid, 21 years of age from Detroit, Michigan, doing pretty well against both men. Uh-oh, able to put on the brakes. Oh! A little communication breakdown between Abyss and Shelley. Well, you wonder if it really was. Part of your wonders if Abyss gets yeah. into the perfect teamwork right there. Drop kick to the back of his own partner, but wow. Threw a both off. Just overpowered both men as D-Ray and Sharkboy went for the gang pin. Well, you realize the contracts are on the line, and I think I woke up D-Ray 3000 and Sharkboy, and all of a sudden they realize they don't want to be a part uh -oh. of that faction, but oh no, he's got him in the double jump slam. Yeah, they hit the double shoulder block off the middle rope, but now they're both goozled. Oh, That's one way to break they it. They stomp on the feet. Oh, wow. Shelly from outside hooks Sharkboy. Meanwhile, in the ring, the Black Hole Slam leads to the three count on D-Ray. The winner for the match, the team of Abyss and Alex Shelly. You know what that means.